What is going on, ERB sports fans, basketball card fans out there everywhere? I would have said baseball card fans, but you got to be a basketball fan to watch behind this door. This is a mail day, not for the ages, but a special mail day. Got basketball season coming up. I haven't been going to a lot of card shows lately, and I've been trolling through eBay trying to see what I can find on auctions. It is funny. I mean, I do a lot of buy it nows on my eBay page. There's a ton of buy it nows pretty much across the board now. Everybody's sort of in a stalemate. But one thing I did find is that you can negotiate with certain buyers to get a buy it now for a good price. And one of you guys out there, or many of you guys out there, know the two basketball players that I collect the most, De'Aaron Fox, and the other one being Stephen Curry. Well, this one went to eBay authentication, so you know it has to be good, right? Well, I was at a card show recently, even though I haven't been going to a lot of card shows to buy. I was at the Fisher's Card Show in the month of September. I went there for just a little bit of time, and I saw a 2016 Select Silver Prism Steph Curry PSA 10, and I said, man, I really want that card. Um, Mrs. ERB Sports would love that card. And I didn't end up buying it, but that card was for sale on eBay for quite a while. But in the saved search, the card that is beneath here is also one that popped up. And so when I saw this one pop up, I said, I got to have that. And I was able to negotiate this down to a final sales price of $150. And so it is none other than a blue prism of the same card that I could have got a silver prism of. So it's the blue prism. This one is color match blue. Oh man, I just tell you, this card looks so sick in person. Um, yeah, I love, I love this Steph Curry card. And it is numbered 89 out of 299. I don't know if you guys can, if you guys wanna scan that, maybe you guys can look at the data they capture at uh, good old PSA. They did send it there for authentication because I think it was over a certain dollar amount when it was listed. It was listed for two fifty five. I settled on two hundred fifty bucks. Or not. it listed for two hundred fifty five. I settled for one hundred fifty dollars. So got a hundred dollars off the sticker price of the card. Eighty nine out of two ninety nine on the blue color match Steph Curry prism. Absolutely stunning looking card. We'll let that one marinate on the stage, and we'll talk about some other things going on in the hobby. We had update release last week, 2022 paper version. I didn't buy any myself originally. I wasn't going to buy any of it, but then I started seeing some of it ripped. It was really nice to see that they lowered the print run relative to where we were in Series 1 and Series 2. You guys saw my preview video on that, talking about the odds. Um, I did end up buying two jumbo boxes, full disclosure, but I did get them at a fairly good discount because I used my $35 credit for one on the Topps website. So I got that for a net of, I think, $130. And then I got one with some Fanatics gift cards that I got for $75 for $100 worth of credit. I bought two of them over at um, BJ's recently, and I ended up buying two jumbo boxes and... I did see the case of blasters for sale, the same case of blasters uh, that I got off of these, if you recall these, from way back in summertime. Maybe that was like August. I forget when exactly that was. Probably like August, early September when I was going crazy ripping that product. And uh, I'm still digging my way out of that hole. So I was intrigued by the blasters and the hits and the extra parallels. And it's all fun and good. But I'm not going to buy any of that. I'm going to steer clear of it. I may end up with some hanger boxes, but again, I will only do it at the right price. And uh, actually, truth be told, when Chrome Update, I just, uh, Ziggy No sent me the information for Chrome Update. And um, I had no idea that they were actually going to do a full-fledged hobby product of that release where we normally see just like a retail only and last year they dabbled in hobby, but it was kind of a train wreck and the quality control sucked. Quality control still may not be perfect, but I think they're going to make improvements year over year. And it'll probably be similar to what we saw with 2023 Chrome this year, which was a good product in my opinion. Uh, even though they kind of muffed up the taco fractor, I think that could have been a lot better and a lot more fun. But it is what it is. Um, Topps Chrome is king. 
Um, so I'm going to save the money that I probably would have put towards the blaster case. And I think I might buy some jumbos of the 2023 Chrome update when it comes out or even the Sapphire version. And uh, after that, I'm not really sure what I want to get on the horizon, but uh, let me know what you guys think out there. Basketball card fans, baseball card fans, sports card fans alike. We started this with a mail day video. We ended it talking about tops update and other chit chat, but we still got stadium club Chrome on the horizon. We've got a full slate of football products still to come. We got some basketball products still to come. Got basketball to start watching. We'll do some betting videos on basketball. Probably do some DFS related things. That was kind of my bread and butter. Hopefully you guys can uh, go ahead and check that out if that's your thing. And like I said, I promise, 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 we will be doing some eating videos uh, when we start training for the uh, St. Elmo Mushroom Cocktail Eating Contest that will come up in December, hopefully. Fingers crossed they actually post the event. I haven't seen it come live yet, but I'm going to start getting prepared for that one. I'm happy to share with you some of my training. I will put some videos out on that and definitely do a contest video when that day comes. So thanks again, everybody. Let me know what you guys think about update and what your plans are. Let me know what you guys think about that card. Hopefully you guys enjoy that. Let's take one last close look. People say I often have the card too close, too far away, but I tell you what, this, this card is absolutely stunning in person. I, I could look at this card all day long. Um, yeah, that is, that is one cool card. I know many people don't like select, but this is one year of select where they didn't make a whole lot of it and it was hobby only. So there you go, guys. We'll leave it there. Enough chit-chat, enough banter, enough rambling. Thanks again for watching. Like, subscribe, share, comment down below. Stay tuned for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.